In the beginning, there was only noise, freeing from Auntie's bog and into the night. Noise was heard throughout the land, booming others at the supplies and gold before traveling onward. Until her. She saw noise transform before her eyes, before she could hear a sound, and instead of fear, she reacted with awe. Only later did she listen to noise, agreeing to keep their nature hidden. Perhaps it was this that made noise trust her. If someone who heard them became an ally, that was merely from their talent as a verbal artist. But to trust a shapeshifter from the beginning? Now that was something special. Before long, noise was telling her stories, and she was showing off her physical artistry. Noise was confiding in her, she was introducing them to her family. They were inseparable, she was their strength, and noise their voice. And oh, her voice, a voice that she shouted when they were alone. Dreams of grandeur. I am Basuki Evans. Remember the name as it rings throughout history and legend. She would be the greatest of heroes. Noise promised to help her achieve this, even if they had to make the legends themselves. Noise knew the terrors outside her valley too well, but for her, they would travel again. For giving them hope, they would make her dreams come true. At least until that morning when the town woke in a frenzy. Creatures that skitter in caves and darkness scurrying into broad daylight. Noise begged, but Basuki insisted on defending the fields. Kill the monsters, convince the town to give us provisions, then fun a real adventure. And she was right, the oversized vermin were weak enough for them to kill with ease. But so was noise, how could they not be? Monsters that lurk in darkness only enter the light in desperation. Who would know that better? And it did appear, that which drove the dark into light. Vision blurred in dirt and foliage, ears ringing from the roaring and screaming. It was over in a minute. I, I know it, but I felt like hours until I emerged from the bodies I'd hidden among. Most of her was still on the ground, ripped apart when she ran towards whatever that was. I was already starting to forget, as if my soul was rejecting it. She was gone. Everything was. No more her, no more town, even the noise had died. Wait. Now there was an idea. Even the noise had died. Quickly, while I still had her, while her memory was fresh, before my own tried to block her out to protect me, I had to focus. Her limbs, her waist, her hair, her face. I donned my outfit, I buried my body. I told what was left of the town what happened. Noise died in the field, terrified and quivering among the vermin. I'm a great liar, but for once I spoke the truth. Before long, I would leave, just like Noise had all their life. But unlike them, I had purpose. I would greet the next town as I have ever since. I am Basuki Evans. Remember the name as it rings throughout history and legend. This is not how I wanted to fill my promise, but it will be honored. Otherwise, this was all for nothing. And I will not be for nothing. I, I will, will not, not let, let my tale, tale just, just be Noise. Noise is a cautious shapeshifter trying to be the bold and daring hero. One day they'll track that creature down and hopefully die a legend. Can't actively remember what it was though. Whenever they start, their form starts to crackle like a campfire and they have to focus on forcing it back. They're terrified that if they ever lose that form fully, they'll never get it back to perfect. After all, can't trust bias with detail. I know the tales of hundreds of adventurers, be it their origin or their legend. I thought a few of you might like to hear, for pleasure or inspiration. If nothing else, I hope I've taught you that you can get so much out of even a short backstory. That wasn't even a page. Thanks to my copy supporters for their patronage, you help me keep improving. Link in the description if you want to help, but I'm here in free either way. See ya!